Well, we're here in Tampa for another Camp Dolphins All Access. We wrap up the joint practices today against the Tampa Bay Bucks. The only thing left to do now is play that preseason game on Saturday. But John Kinjemi joins us now to wrap up what happened here. And overall, John, I thought the first two days of this were positive for the Dolphins. What do you think? I agree, Mike. I thought day one was a little slow starting for the Miami Dolphins. I think Tom Brady and the Bucks offense clearly had an advantage on one-on-ones and seven-on-sevens. But as the day went on, I thought the Dolphin defense, the Dolphin offense picked it up. And today they carried that theme over mm -hmm. uh, to this practice. And I thought the Dolphins started fast. Uh, there was a lot of more uh, on-time and on-target completions from Tua Tagovailoa. He found Tyreek Hill with one-handed catch. It could have yeah. been a touchdown. You don't know because there's no tackling involved. But I thought he did a nice job in the red zone. He found Mike Kosicki in the back of the end zone. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought he moved the offense much better, and it looked more efficient today. Defense Defensively, I thought there was a lot of pushing and shoving going on on yeah. the other field. A lot of feistiness between both teams, but the Dolphin defense held their own. And I thought it was a really good two days for the Miami Dolphins mm -hmm. to get that competition against somebody else carrying into the preseason game on Saturday. You know, uh, you mentioned Mike Kosicki. He had a nice day today. Tyreek Hill was just speaking to the media about him. He says he's really trying to pump him up. He wants to be his best friend out there on the field. He wants to move Durham Smythe out of the picture, <laughs> out of the best friend picture. Uh, it was good to see uh, Mike spread out this week and kind of do Mike Kosicki things. It was good to see the tight ends for mm -hmm. the Miami Dolphins catch the football. That's one of the themes I thought we haven't seen so far in training camp, the tight end involvement in the offense. But we got to see it progressively get more uh, involved as the day went on today. And I thought that, you know, those guys are, it's a deep room. And yeah. for Mike to come out and perform the way he did today, it gives that offense in that position confidence because I think it's going to take everybody. Everybody's mm -hmm. kind of honing in on Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle creating space. Well, that space creates room in the middle of the football field and at 6'6 or whatever Mike goes he's an easy target to find yeah. and especially in the red zone and I think that's the focus for the Dolphins today create some space for everybody mm -hmm. and Mike took advantage of that I think for the Dolphin fans who were in, ten in attendance there were a few they they got what they wanted to see they wanted to see Hill they wanted to see Kosicki and they wanted to see Waddle make big plays so offensively they certainly did that defensively John what really stood out for you from that a group of 11 guys? I thought aggressiveness. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, pursuing to the football. I, I think, you know, Tampa Bay did a good job without Tom Brady in running the football. Mm -hmm. I think that was their focus today. And, you know, they broke a couple of nice runs, but the Dolphin defense came right back with a would-be sack or getting their hands on the football a number of times, whether it was seven-on-seven seven or in the team drills. Yeah. I thought the Dolphins did a nice job of getting around the football and not just the guy making the play. There was a, a lot of awkward jerseys, you know, mm -hmm. running, running to the football, which was nice to see. Yeah, I think so often you try to highlight specific players on that defense, but it's the way they kind of play together that really encourages you. And we saw that last year during that win streak. But all in all, I thought it was a good two days for the Miami Dolphins. We'll see how it looks come Saturday. Uh, Tua Tungavaloa trending not to play at the moment. You're not going to see Tom Brady either, so it'll be interesting to see how many starters do, in fact, play. But once again, you can see that game 7.30 on CBS4, and we've got a 7 p.m. pregame show to get you ready for kickoff. Steve Goldie Goldstein, of course, will be on the play-by-play -play call, so it should be a lot of fun on CBS4 this weekend. For another edition of Camp Dolphins All Access, that's John Kajemi. I'm Mike Cunio. Thank you for joining us from Tampa.